The prospect of Republicans boycotting future meetings of the Select Committee on Investigations is real, say GOP members, a result of weeks of what they say is little cooperation or sharing of information. If we're going to be part of this process, we need, we need information. We're going to need uh, documents that we ask for. If we want to pass a resolution or move a resolution, uh, we don't need to be uh, treated like second-class citizens. But when Chairman John Wisniewski said Republican Amy Hanlon was showboating last week, it proved to be a bridge too far. I have here a whole pile of reform bills that include bills sponsored by you, Mr. Chairman, and also by Madam Chairwoman. And I have others sponsored by members of this committee on both sides. What on earth is stopping us from moving forward on this legislation today? I could do the same thing. I mean, the governor vetoed a bill that was put in front of him that would have addressed this. So to showboat here to talk about how we can now put forward legislation today, Assemblywoman, we're not done with our work. Not all the Republicans on the committee think a boycott is a great idea, but said one, it's like we're not on the committee now anyway. The most recent charge from Republicans is that they can't get a detailed accounting from the committee's attorney, who so far has cost over $200,000. Committee co-chair Loretta Weinberg says the Republicans aren't being entirely truthful. She says summations of the bills have been made public. There are more detailed invoices which list uh, who the council interviewed, when, and for what reason. Those um, invoices are obviously confidential, but every committee member can come into the office and look at the, the detailed uh, billing statements whenever they choose. Which Hamlin did today, she says, after having to wait around the State House for someone to finally find them. This is a perfect example of the, the kind, of, um, kind of behavior that is causing us to um, really question um, the, the, the whole purpose of this committee. The committee is expected to issue more subpoenas for testimony sometime next week. It remains to be seen how this latest controversy will affect the way they conduct business going forward. In Fort Lee, I'm David Cruz. NJTV News.